Jordan Burgess live to explain. Jordan? Well, until the shutdown is history, one place is still making history. The Dayton area has some of the only national parks across the country that aren't closed because of the government's shutdown. So they've quickly become the only show in town. Take a look around the parking lot at Carillon Park and you'll see more out-of-state plates than usual. We found them from places as far away as Ontario and Oklahoma. It seems many people, like one couple I spoke with from Ontario, show up to visit the Air Force Museum and when they see that's not open, they head here. Carillon Park, along with Hawthorne Hill and the Dunbar House, are still open despite being National Historic Sites because they're run by the privately funded Dayton History. So you can still see the Wright Flyer 3, which is on display here. Dayton History President Brady Kress says the shutdown has given the park a boost. It's good that uh, we're able here in Dayton to, uh, to, to carry on. Uh, that's, that's part of the, the Dayton spirit, I think, is to carry on uh, whether there's anybody else to help us or not. And the Waco Air Museum in Troy is also open despite the shutdown. They've told me they've seen an increase in visitors as well, even some from as far away as the United Kingdom. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.